Well, I have the latest update from uh, Geno Eli Tumine's camp. Actually, things are not really good in this big man's camp. And also, I have other trending stories. Stand by for the details. Uh, so finally, this week is coming to the end, and uh, I hope that you are doing very okay. As usual, my name is uh, Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Now, if you're an ardent follower of uh, the Buzz UG, by now you must be knowing that uh, the former Minister of Security right here in Uganda, that is uh, Geno Eli Tumwine, is not doing well in hospital. Now, the latest update about this big man is that he's been flown out of the country to Plus 254, uh, that is Kenya, for further medication. Uh, reports indicate that he was admitted at Nakasir Hospital last week, but after his condition kind of worsening, they decided to transfer him to Kenya. Details about his sickness are not yet known by anyone apart from his family and the doctors. But I'm following up on this story. If anything comes up, I will definitely keep you posted. Otherwise, right here on the Buzz UG, we continue to wish him a very quick recovery. Well, in other news... The director of CID, that is Major Tom Magampo, has ordered for an immediate investigation into a viral video of a young girl who was being forced into a car to go and get married. Yes, that is the video right there. Uh, it is said that the incident happened in uh, Chotera district and uh, one of those men right there was later identified as Abel Kamehito. Now, the eyewitnesses said that the mother of the girl and the aunt were both involved in this and guess what? These ladies and gentlemen wanted this girl to get married to an old man of 50 years. Can you imagine? Actually, for me, when I saw this video, I thought it had happened somewhere else in Africa. But I was very shocked to know this is Uganda. Because, man, I don't expect this to still be happening in this generation. I'm telling you, some people are still very, very primitive. But thank God, police have said they are going to investigate this matter. And we hope that this girl is rescued from these hungry men. Well, in other news, it has finally been confirmed Wizo Manizo's baby mama, Sandra Teta, has finally traveled back to Chigali, Rwanda with her parents who had come earlier to Kampala after photos circulated on social media showing Sandra Teta severely beaten by Wizo Manizo. This was actually confirmed by Rwanda's High Commissioner in Uganda, Ambassador Joseph Rutabana. It's reported that Sandra left with their two kids and uh, as we speak right now, they are already in Rwanda. Well, it should be remembered that Uganda police, through their spokesperson, that is uh, Mr. Fred Nanga, had earlier on said that they are going to investigate this matter and uh, they will later come up with a detailed report of what happened to this beautiful lady, Sandra Teta. <laughs> So, <laughs> Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you right now on the Buzz UG. I'm still gathering more stories for you. And uh, of course, I'll be back as always. Don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Amelad Milo, a.k.a. Fula. It's a bye for now.